Some new developments tonight in Grand Rapids after that police cruiser was hit by gunfire. It happened yesterday morning at the Grand Coney restaurant on Michigan Street. Tonight, we have new surveillance video that shows how officers discovered the bullet hole in their vehicle. 24-hour news aides Coco McAboy has this story from Studio Control. Good evening. The surveillance video we have doesn't clearly show an incident taking place, but authorities tell us the two officers noticed the bullet hole in their vehicle once they started driving. These pictures show the damage done to a GRPD cruiser while police say it was parked at Grand Coney on Michigan Street. And surveillance video from a nearby business shows how it all started. In the video, the officers pull into the restaurant to take their lunch break just before 3 o'clock yesterday morning. Authorities believe the incident happened sometime while the officers were inside of the restaurant, but no one heard a gunshot. We got no calls from area neighbors, uh, shots fired. No one from inside the restaurant heard sounds of a gunshot, so we're not exactly sure as to what time exactly those gun that gunshot was. The video then shows the officers come out of the restaurant about 40 minutes later, but first they take a look around before leaving the parking lot. Then less than five minutes later, the officers return to start their investigation. And authorities tell us their fear is that someone targeted their cruiser. This is outrageous to us. We, we want to get to the bottom of this. If the Grand Rapids Police Department is being targeted, um, we're going to do our jobs, be diligent. We're going to find who did this. Police searched the area for a few more hours and gathered evidence at the scene. They found the one bullet which was lodged in the cruiser. We will use all of our resources to get to the bottom of it. We know authorities are looking at the surveillance video that we have along with other video sources in the area to try to track down a suspect and they say they hope to then learn a motive and anyone with information is asked to call police. Live in studio control, I'm Coco McAvoy, 24 Hour News 8.